Good evening. This meeting of June 10th, 2013 of the Dubuque Community School District Board of Education is called to order. Our mission is to develop world-class learners and citizens of character in a safe and inclusive learning community. Ms. Lucas, roll call, please. Mr. Barton? Here. Mr. Guitine? Present. Mr. Davis? Here. Mr. Donahue? Here. Mr. Kruger? Present. Ms. Ryan? Here. Mr. Strelo? Present. All right, we will start with the Pledge of Allegiance, and we're all on your honor to be able to do this by ourselves without any help. Otto? Otto can lead us. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mr. Kruger. President, I move that the Board of Education approve the agenda as submitted. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the agenda as submitted. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Mr. President, I move that the Board of Education approve the minutes of the regular meeting on May 13th, 2013, mm -hmm. as submitted. Second. That's been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve the minutes of the regular meeting on May 13th, 2013 as submitted. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Uh, board salutes, uh, Mr. Bytine. Well, I know our board salutes are typically reserved for staff and students and teachers and administrators and such, and I, I'm breaking with tradition slightly here today to uh, give a board salute to the, uh, the Iowa House and Senate who uh, recently passed when the governor signed the uh, self-described Historic Education Reform Act, um, signed by the governor on June 3rd. Uh, among uh, some of the highlights of that, and I won't go into any great detail, but um, one of the things that we have long discussed at this table is the concept of allowable growth. And that's been redefined uh, by the bill. It is now called Supplemental State Aid. And uh, you'll be hearing a lot more about that as the months uh, continue. Um, but there's, some, there's some, ex some exciting things in there, there's some controversial things in there, but um, I think that you'll find overall that it's uh, intended to be to the betterment of the, of the state and, the, and hopefully ultimately to the district. I guess we'll, we'll find out whether that's the case. But thank yeah. you. We won't vote on that. No. Uh, <coughs> but uh, thank you. appreciate you bringing that up. Uh, Ms. Wright? I have a board salute to go out to uh, Sageville Elementary School and Jeff Dyer and the fifth graders that just finished up fifth grade out there. I had the privilege of going and seeing the Smart Alex movie over at um, Mindframe Theaters. And this is a full length feature that these kids put together. Um, uh, they wrote it, they did the set design, they helped produce it, and Jeff Dyer did the video of it. And it was very well done. And these kids were very proud of what they did. Um, you could see the excitement. They showed the learning process at the end of it. And I was, for a while there, I thought I was watching Nickelodeon <laughs> with all of what they, what they were doing. But it was a very cute movie with a, a good message that had a great plot to it. And it'll be on um, the Sageville's website to be able to view. And I think it's going to run on our um, district um, TV station. So pick it up when you can see it because it is very well done. It's, it's on YouTube. Too. It is on yeah. YouTube. Yeah. I just cut a little of it. Mm. Yeah. Sort of seeing the rest. It does look really good. I have a hard time finding videos on YouTube all the time. So. <laughs> ask your daughter. <laughs> yeah, ask my daughter. Yep. Thank you, Ms. Ryan. Mm -hmm. Mr. Kruger? Or Mr. Oh, Mr. Davis, what do you do? And I, I just mentioned uh, Jeff's done that for a number of years, even when he was at Fulton. I remember seeing some of those. I, I mean, he may be in his 10, somewhere in the 10 to 15 year range on doing these uh, mm -hmm. student produced. Uh, uh, movies, so it's uh, quite an accomplishment for him. I have a couple board salutes. One to the Hempstead women's soccer team who made qualified for the Iowa State Tournament in soccer this year. It was the first time since the inception of women's soccer, I don't, I don't know how long that's been, that a Dubuque public school team has made the state tournament in soccer, so a board salute to them and their coaching staff. And then I'd also like to give a board salute to the administration of both Senior High and Hempstead High School. Um, the board and the community had an opportunity to see the uh, attend the graduations, both Hempstead and Senior, over Memorial Day weekend, and both graduation ceremonies were uh, very well done by the administration, the students, and the staff at both high schools, and uh, the music departments at both high school. 
and that's not an accident. It takes a great administration to pull those graduations off, and they both did an outstanding job. So a board salute to the administrations of Hempstead and Senior High School for our great graduation ceremony for both schools. Thank you, Mr. Davis. Any other board salutes? All right. Open forum. Mr. Concerned. President, I move that the Board of Education suspend the rules of order and go into open forum. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the Board of Education suspend the rules of order and go into open forum. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Any persons wishing to address the board at this time, please step forward. Mr. President, I move that the Board of Education reinstate the rules of order and return to <laughs> regular session. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the Board of Education reinstate the rules of order and return to regular session. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. I move that the Board of Education approve those items listed in the consent agenda. Second. Uh, I'll ask you right now if there's any board members that wish to have anything in the consent agenda removed for further discussion. <clears throat> Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Brings us to the uh, Facility Support Services Committee report, Mr. Byteen. Yes, we met uh, about a week ago and have several uh, items for the board to consider. First being, I move the Board of Education authorize payment of the final June 2013 bills subject to post audit by the board. Second. <laughs> Hang on a second. <laughs> Tab five. Oh, I just had to get back to the motion. Thank you. Uh, it's been, <laughs> been moved and seconded that the Board of Education authorize payment of the final June 2013 bills subject to post audit by the board. Any questions or discussion? I believe this is a standard motion that's made every year to uh, allow for the end of the year payment of the bills, so it's a fairly routine matter is my understanding. Yes. Correct, it is. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? <coughs> motion carries. Thank you. Uh, the next motion has to do with the parking lot lease uh, with Journey Church. Move that the Board of Education approve the parking lot lease with Journey Church for additional parking for Hempstead High School students for the 2013-2014 school year. Second. Second. Any discussion? Just, just to mention that we this is a, a long-standing uh, annual <coughs> lease agreement that we typically have. And Kevin, anything to add? Yeah, I, I, I was going to point that out as well, Craig. This is uh, something that has worked out extremely well for both entities. It certainly is a good partnership uh, with the uh, with the church and and the school. It gives our students uh, uh, much needed uh, parking spots, and so it's been the, the church has been a good partner in the situation, and it's certainly something that's a win-win, I believe. And I think they've added some. And they've added a few spots. spots. Yep. Um, Kevin, do you know me? They about 20. about 20 spots. So it's been a, a real good collaboration between the two entities. And it will be more important with the nice with the parking years. reductions that are going to go Absolutely. on at Hempstead High School with the renovation process. Yep. So. Yep. Yep. All right. Any other discussion? All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Uh, the next is a, a similar lease uh, with Loris College that we've had for. A number of years. I move the Board of Education authorize the Board President and Secretary to sign the parking lot lease with Loris College. Second. Moved and seconded that the Board of Education uh, authorize the Board President and Secretary to sign the parking lot lease with Loris College. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. I move the Board of Education approve the 28E agreement to share athletic facilities at the Dalzell Complex with Clark University. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve the 28E agreement to share athletic facilities at the Dalzell Complex with Clark University. Any discussion? Yeah, uh, this is uh, uh, an opportunity that uh, came to our, our notice uh, when we were putting in plans to renovate Dalzell and the opportunity to uh, increase some sporting opportunities or some venues at the stadium that would allow Clark College to use that. Uh, they, I think, put forth, if I'm not mistaken, Bill, $50,000 that was used to offset the addition of steeplechase, high jump, 
and uh, is it long jump? Triple jump. Triple jump. Pole vault. Pole vault. Pole vault, right. And uh, the, the net result of that is that they can use the facility. This agreement basically is a, a quid pro quo between the two institutions. Uh, we get access to some of their fields for practice and otherwise, and they have access then to the field. So there's no monetary exchange here other than the, uh, the exchange of uh, use of each other's fields uh, for various sporting venues. So with, uh, we've already made the motion. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries, thank you. I move the Board of Education approve the service agreement with Dynamic Recycling Incorporated for recycling of electronics for end of life recycling and asset use, reuse, recovery. Second, the Department of Redundancy Department. <laughs> I move, it has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve the service agreement with Dynamic Recycling for recycling electronics for end of life recycling. <laughs> that is redundant. And asset reuse, recovery. Any discussion? I just discussion discussion. When I hear end of life, I always get concerned. Kevin, do you want to clarify or? Um, this has to do with a company that will take a lot of our old computers as we've been, as we purchase tablets and are updating our labs. There'll be computers 10, 12 years old that will need to be recycled, and this company will actually come and dispose of them environmentally safely. And then we'll also get some money from from whatever uh, amount of recyclables that we give them. Thank you, Mr. Keller. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. I uh, move that the Board of Education approve the 2013-14 preschool fee. Second. Moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve the 2013-14 preschool fee. Any discussion? So. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. The uh, move that the Board of Education approve the performance and payment bonds for the Senior High School West Driveway Replacement and Sageville Elementary School Blacktop Overlay Projects. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve the performance and payment bonds for the Senior High School West Driveway Replacement and Sageville Elementary School Blacktop Overlay Projects. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Move to the Board of Education approve the summer project at Dalzell Field to repair and widen the existing roadway and add fencing. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve the summer project at Dalzell Field to repair and widen the existing roadway and add fencing. Any discussion? Only that this was not uh, initially identified as a project within scope of the Dalzell Field project, but it's uh, it's needed in that area to widen the access to the to that uh, particular road and a fence to protect access as well. It also moves it to a, a Pebble project uh, out of the one cent sales <coughs> tax. We have dollars available in Pebble, so it accomplishes the same uh, goal, but it doesn't change anything in our one cent sales tax as far as future projects, it just simply moves it into Pebble. I don't know if uh, Bill and Charlie wanted to, if you're interested in a short rendition of what this project would be about. Sure. Absolutely. This is Davis Road, right? That we're talking well, it hasn't about. been named yet. We're way or way. It's becoming Davis Boulevard. Davis Lane. Davis. <laughs> yeah, it, it also <laughs> gives us an opportunity to look at traffic flow before and after school as well. So really, it, it will kill a couple birds with one stone, so. Good afternoon, board members. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity to talk about this summer project. Um, I'll just hit three big points here on some improvements we would like to make uh, on the Dazel project. Uh, the orange fence here was put up after Dazel opened. And we didn't have soccer there in the past, so we learned that soccer balls were going out to Grand View. <laughs> so we installed the snow fence, and it was successful. So now we're going to replace that with black existing uh, fence to match the design of Dazel and eliminate that problem. Uh, second one, second thing I wanted to point out is this fence would be removed right here. You can see where it was hit by a car here. We've been told that the car was stolen. That's debatable. 
the insurance company that vehicle is pushing back saying there's no responsibility to replace that fence. So that's why it's still there. But it'll be taken care of in this renovation that we're talking about. And that would also position me to uh, buildings and grounds to put some steps in here that the students parking in the junior lot could use to access the building and not go across the softball field and create that what I call cow path. Mm -hmm. So that would take care of that. That's three uh, improvements there. This is just a quick picture of the existing driveway you spoke about and how the need is there to replace that. Can you pull that picture? Can you see where part of it's been redone? If you yes, slide it. Yep. Oh, you have that Give me just a second. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Uh, here's the existing uh, driveway right now. It's 15 feet across. There's a school vehicle, and you can see how narrow it is for ve other vehicles to get around it. There's a picture of that same school vehicle back in the 25-foot section. You can see how two vehicles can easily pass. There's a tremendous amount of opportunity here by widening this. We can encourage uh, parents to drop their students off perhaps on this location or if there's events, people can drop people off using the visitor seating here and still allow traffic to get by. Uh, we have a huge opportunity here to take some pressure off of Clark Drive. Yeah. I know in late winter, uh, February, I believe, there was an article in the Telegraph Herald about the issues there in front of Clark. I think we have a nice solution here for about $19,000, and I'm not saying this is the way it has to be, but I just want to picture in your head, maybe we have the option for two-way, maybe we have the option for double one-way on big events. There's so much opportunity to go from here to go from this picture to a very safe passageway of two vehicles, if they're going the same way, if they're going the opposite way. And that's one reason that Buildings and Grounds is here to promote, let's widen it while we have the opportunity. I'll open it up for any questions. Stan, I know that more than a few people have commented upon Clark <coughs> and the drop-off in front of Senior. Mm -hmm. Could this, in fact, really replace that as a drop-off point entirely? Well. I don't know about it. I would think probably not entirely, but I think by incorporating two different, I mean, if it, it, it's going to reduce the amount of traffic on Clark, and maybe there's some other things when there's less traffic to, to uh, that we can incorporate into as well. I, I wouldn't want to say entirely <coughs> it, that that would be a stretch, but I think substantially reduce that traffic is well within it's, what this would be able to do. How do we let us. people know? <laughs> well, they'll, yeah, there'll be an education piece and. Uh, Signage will obviously help right. as well. Even if we've got 100 cars to use it. Well, I was just going to say, the issue in Clark Drive is just a compression of vehicles in a very short period of time. So yeah. the extent that you can offlay some of those <clears throat> to this entrance would certainly give that some And if we make relief. it easy to use, they'll use it. Correct. Yeah. Right. I, think, I think they'll find their way around once we reopen this. Yeah. I think you're going to see big improvement there. Wow. I know it'll help with the exit of senior high school tremendously because that was missed throughout the whole year this year, but over the past two years, not being able to go out that way, trying to get off to take a left-hand turn onto Clark. So I think it's great. We think it's a great first Say step. Say that again, Tammy. So you, how do you, what do you, how does this flow? Does this go all the way through to the other parking lot? This goes yeah. all, this goes all the way around and lets out on Grandview. Yeah. And it ties so it into, the, the, and it ties in the junior yeah. lot. Yeah. You yep. go through the, yeah. 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 Because as, a, as, a, as an incoming freshman parent at senior, that's been a big issue to me because that's a disaster up there. The, the cars are literally, you have no choice but to stop in the middle of the street because the car in front of you stops to drop off kids. I don't know how that will change overnight. That'll take a big education over. piece with parents and students knowing that it's okay to walk a little bit from <laughs> that side of the parking lot and not right at the front door. Yeah. But it, it gives an, it will alleviate some of the cars because some will use it. So are you in a lot will use right. it. So are you envisioning then, Bill, that the cars would come in from Grand View and go up here, or how? how? There's so many opportunities here. So we however just, we would figure yes, out. Yes, we need to right. discuss this Got yet it. and what you're comfortable with and what direction. But there's a lot of opportunities yeah. you can see. But it all starts with having it wider. Yep, yeah, we've got to have it wider to begin yeah. that process. So looks good to me. For about twenty thousand dollars, we thought it was a pretty Boy, pretty good uh, decision yeah. for us. Yep. That's easy. Okay. Thank you, Bill. Okay. Uh, any other discussion? Bill, you may want to stay up just in case there's some questions on the 
Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Uh, we have a couple of change orders to review um, on Dalzell Field. As you come to the close of any major construction project, there's always a, a litany of, of things to you know, kind of finish up. And uh, um, numbers order change orders 10 and 11 uh, refer to that. So I'll read the motion and we can discuss it. Um, I move the Board of Education approve change orders 10 and 11 to ports and construction on the Dalzell Field Renovation Project in the total amount of $67,000. $367. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve change orders number 10 and 11 to Ports and Construction, Inc. on the Dalzell Field Renovation Project in the total amount of $67,367. Discussion? Bill, I, I know that we're still within our contingency within these monies, and, and that's, that's not a minor point, but do you want to review a little bit about this for the rest of the board members, what this includes? Do you want to talk? Yes, let me grab my binder here just a second. Excuse me. Uh, change order 10 had to do, um, added a Kwanzaa box, that was for going around the field. These first several items are for going around the field. In lieu of going under the field and compromising our warranty with ATG, remember we chose ATG because they own it from the subgrade up. Mm -hmm. When other contractors suggested going through the field, then that gave ATG an opportunity to say if there's issues, they're not mine anymore. So to eliminate the finger pointing, we took some different routes. And that's why there's a $2,800 charge with the Kanzai box. The uh, conduit and cabling is $10,000 to go around the field also. <coughs> now we could have went through the field, excavated some rock for about $12,000 because of the rock issues we had over there. But we thought the better route was going around the outside for about $10,000 and we eliminate the finger pointing. So we thought that was an, an easy decision for us and a, a good decision. So that's the $10,000 there. The uh, caulking and mortar joints had to do with other building issues we've seen over the years. There's what's called a hard joint and a soft joint. Soft joint is made with caulk and it tends to not shrink. At Carver, you had heard about water issues we had out there several years ago and we've been eliminating them by changing over to soft joints, a more flexible joint that'll change with the, uh, with the climate that we have. So we changed that and went to soft joints on all those locations. There's some, uh, we upgraded to uh, some seals at the coiling counter door for $486. They were more effective in sealing out the, the environment. Uh, tree excavation and dirt, $825. That had to do to upgrade the soil. When we dug for the trees, we had a lot of rock. That used to be a fill area for many years. So to improve those soil conditions, that was the fee associated with it. The parking lot and water main for $7,300. The water main was simply further away than any drawings that we had at buildings and grounds. Uh, ADA counter, the city reviewed the drawings in the beginning and approved the drawings and the design. When they were in the field, they made changes that we had to follow and required us to low counter heights to meet ADA regulations. So while we thought that was addressed in the uh, preview through, building the, through the building department, later they've required us to make those changes and that's the fee associated with that. There were some brick paver uh, changes and sprinkler reductions that the city didn't require. So we got a $2,200 credit. So the city uh, gave us a $2,200 credit and uh, asked for about a $1,700 ad. So. Can I answer any questions on those? I you know, went through those kind of fast. Okay. Any questions? That's yes, number 10. And number 11, just so you understand that, so I can explain that, that's to match the existing. That's $39,000 to match that 15-foot existing driveway that I talked about. So I'm going to go in the summer project and add 19000 to that and make it that 25 feet if you're comfortable with that. So this does the existing. Now in the beginning, we looked at this to replace this and the approach and more concrete, and we started off with a $75,000 cost. 
we tabled that to get through the project and see where we're at. After the project's come into conclusion, how these are the last change orders, we felt it was responsible to reduce the scope, replace that area that is in such bad condition as you saw, take it down, not replace the apron, not replace the junior entry, and get it done for the 39,000. Okay. Any, any, any other questions? questions I can answer? All right, thank you, Bill. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. This last one is uh, uh, air conditioning at uh, Sageville. Uh, I move the Board of Education approve change order number one to Portson Construction Incorporated on the Sageville <coughs> Elementary School Mechanical Air Conditioning Project in the amount of $16,385. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve change order number one to Portson Construction Inc. on the Sageville <coughs> Elementary School Mechanical Air Conditioning Project in the amount of $16,385. Discussion? A quick overview, the fire marshal reviewed the plans and uh, asked the district to change from a fire damper, which would go off if it sense fire, to a smoke and fire damper. So it's going to be earlier detection. If it's seen particulates in the air or smoke, it's going to close these dampers and protect that air source. So we, it, it's required and it's, it's a reasonable request. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. You're welcome. I move that the uh, Board of Education adopt the following resolution approving construction contract, certificate, insurance, and bonds. Be it resolved by the Board of Education of the Dubuque Community School District that the construction contract and bonds executed and insurance coverage for the Washington Middle School multi purpose room addition project as described in detail in the plans and specifications heretofore approved and which have been signed by the contractor B and at the same time are hereby approved and the president is authorized to execute said contract on behalf of the district outlined as follows. Contractor, Ports and Construction Incorporated, Dubuque, Iowa. Date of contract, June 10th, 2013. Bond surety, United Fire and Casualty Company, $1,192,000. Date of bond, May 28th, 2013. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the Board of Education adopt <coughs> the resolution as read. Discussion? We've already approved we this project. <coughs> this is just Correct. approving the bond for right. the, the surety bond for the project. Correct. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. I move the Board of Education approve change order number one to Clower Development Corporation on the Carver Elementary School Classroom Addition Project in the amount of $1,815.08. Second. Moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve change order number one to Clower Development Corp on the Carver Elementary School Classroom Addition Project in the amount of $1,815.08. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. I move the Board of Education adopt the following resolution approving construction contract certificate of insurance and bonds. Be it resolved by the Board of Education of the Dubuque Community School District that the construction contract and bonds executed and insurance coverage for the senior high school small gym for floor replacement project as described in the details in the plans and specifications heretofore approved and which have been signed by the contractor be in our and, and the same are hereby approved, and the president is authorized to execute said contract on behalf of the district outlined as follows. Contractor, Ports and Construction Incorporated of Dubuque, Iowa. Date of contract, May 16, 2013. Bond surety, United Fire and Casualty Company, $129,000. Date of bond, May 28, 2013. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the Board of Education adopt the following or the resolution as read. Is there any discussion? Similarly approved and just issuing the bonds. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Mr. President, I move that the Board of Education take no further disciplinary action for students number 709910 
number 713153 and number 709002 at this time. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the Board of Education take no further disciplinary action for students 709910, 713153, and 709002 at this time. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Mr. Strelo, Educational Programs okay. Policy Strategy Committee. Sorry. You know what, I, I wasn't able to attend the last meeting, but Tammy and George, I think they had a, a snapshot of the uh, strategic plan meeting and revised. Yeah, it's pretty much all we, we, that and just looking at numbers of um, the um, transient students between all of the downtown schools just kind of evaluating what those numbers um, could look like and the snapshot that will be coming of uh, the June 24th. Yeah. I, I do have, uh, I won't tell you who they are yet, but uh, a subset of this group, the sponsorship group for Dazel, um, you know, we've set out to sell uh, four corporate packages on the, on the new scoreboard and our indication is we've got two confirmed and, and uh, another fish on, if the, if, you, if you will. So uh, um, I'm not sure we want to say who they are yet, but uh, the community's been the process is going pretty well. Good. Thank you very much. Uh, board member or administrative issues? Any board member issues? Anything from administration? Nope, it's just, uh, I guess, congratulations so to uh, all the parents and students and staff that had another great school year. Um, we were extremely lucky with the weather this year with no uh, uh, heat issues uh, at the end of the year. And I was relieved this morning when it was foggy to not have to worry about whether buses should run or not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, yeah, and we, we did some... Uh, we did some preventative work around air conditioning in a couple of uh, elementary schools that we knew we have issues with. The problem is Mother Nature ever, never raised the, the temperature yep. enough for us to truly test them, but I'm yeah. sure she'll do that for us in the fall. It, I'm sure. it was probably predictable. If we buy a new snowblower next year, maybe we won't have we'll any never snow either. That's, yeah. so. That's the key. That's all you need to do. All right. Uh, Preview of upcoming board meeting. As Tammy uh, alluded to, um, we have on the 24th the uh, update, our scheduled update on strategic plan. So we will review uh, what was been accomplished this year, talk about uh, some of those key indicators that we've identified, and then uh, talk about what are the things that are in place for next year to continue that uh, path to achieving the goals in the strategic plan. So should be a very uh, enlightening and interesting meeting. Great. Any other issues to be brought before the board? I'd point out we saved almost 2,000 pages of paper simply by being electronic today. So, <laughs> for those of you that couldn't get signed on, too bad. We're adjourned. I get signed on about two thirds of the way through. All right. We are adjourned. Thank you.